G'day guys, Steve Morgan here from Fishing Monthly Magazines with Bill Hull from Northside Marine. And Bill, we are testing a pretty exciting boat today. It's the 232 Open from Sportsman. Before we get into the, the specs about this model though, let's talk about Sportsman, the company. It's a company which is going like this in the US, isn't it? Yeah, look, it's amazing. Um, we've, we've only had them on probably eight months now and um, it's probably been our the strongest seller brand that we've ever put on. And uh, in six years, they've gone from six employees to 300. Um, yes. They're building their third factory now and it's amazing so yeah. I think this sort of boat it's 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 interesting because the appetite for this American looking upswept bow comfortable fishing and family boats it's really increased in the last few years hasn't it and as a salesman at Northside Marine for so many decades you've seen that change in the market tell us about what people think when they see these boats in the yard it's, it's, I even take a little bit like myself personally um, I've sold boats for 30 years now at Northside Marine and fiberglass and aluminium and plate boats and always looked at the American American fishing boats and always had a desire to do it and it, it never really worked out but now it's like enjoying it. So we've got them here and there's this passion and I, I long for this American centre console and I enjoy using it and, and our customers, what we found, are no different to me and it's like this, it's time to buy an American yep. centre console. Look, they're, they're a great looking boat but they're also a great performing boat. In my experience, a fibreglass boat set up well and driven properly is very smooth on the water, it's easy on your back and when you get a day like today, which isn't particularly pleasant, you can still travel and do it reasonably comfortably. Yeah. Tell us about those experiences on the water when you take people for a water test in these things. Yeah, it's, it's probably the first time I'd been them. It, I even had the impression like it's hopping in a 20-year-old car, hopping in a brand new car. Everything is just better. The doors and things like this. So we find when we drive these, the steering positions, the quietness of the hull, just everything. No rattles, the hinges, everything is just lovely. And then the ride on top of that is wonderful. Yeah. Now the, um, the, the problem that a lot of us have had in the past is importing an American boat ourselves can be really fraught with danger. We've heard the horror stories of people losing money, you don't know how to buy them, you don't know where to buy them. Northside Marine have done all this for us, yes. um, and everything here, the Yamaha, the boat, the trailer, all comes with full warranty, turnkey out of the factory. That's got to be attractive to your customers. Yeah, it's something we've done a lot of homework, we've looked at it for many, many years, and it's never been able to line up because of all the issues Steve, you've said. Um, but this time with the Sportsman, we've got a strong relationship with the factory, and with Yamaha in Australia, we have the Yamaha warranty here, we have 10-year warranty on the hull, back in Australia, two years on the other trailer, all backed here. Simrad is all covered through in Australia. So Australian builders plate, all the certifications, everything is all covered. So and even spare parts getting from the US are quite easy for us. So for us to do business, we can do a lot of numbers and, and don't expect any issues at all. Yep, so. no, and the dealership itself's got the reputation to make sure you're not going to be left in the lurch. Now one of my observations, this is a very beamy boat. How do you go with the two and a half metre uh, um, legal width for towing? What's the issue there? Look, we do have a lot of customers obviously put them on dry bursts, uh, hard stands in the water, um, and then obviously in trailable, um, they are just over that width, the trailer is legal, but we do have all the uh, documentation that people have got to require for in Queensland, and then clearance flags and over width signs, so in the price of the boat we supply that to the people, we give them an understanding so they, they know the requirements of it, and just the, the restrictions that are there, and, and a lot of the people today have not had a problem with that. Yep. So. And it's not daunting anymore, is it? Like it used to be a daunting thing to tow an over width boat, but nowadays, a few flags are signed, you've got the paperwork, it's not an issue, is it? Yeah, straightforward, yeah. Um, now, this boat here, you say it comes in around two and a half tonnes. Yes. Um, you don't need a big land... Well, we're towing with a Land Cruiser here, but you don't need a big Land Cruiser to tow it. A Ford Ranger or a Mitsubishi Triton can tow it, no worries at all. Yeah, that, that'd cover that fine. I think a vehicle rated to 28 or 3,000 kilos is fine. We put on a Weybridge 2,500, that's with batteries, 300 litres of fuel, most of the gear there, and it came in with all that, uh, 60 litres of fresh water. Um, came in at 2,500 kilos, so you yep. could allow for another 100 gear, 100 kilos worth of fishing gear, which would top it off yep. from there. And that's a bare minimum of fishing gear, if anyone knows me. <laughs> Look, this boat has got all of the bells and whistles. It's probably going to be hard to talk about every single option, but pick three options on this boat that it's supplied with that really impress you as a, as a 30 year boatie. Um, probably from a centre console, obviously the opening, um, it's probably not new to American uh, boats, but just the toilet inside the console, that was good just for the ladies going fishing and having that toilet there. Uh, the fibreglass hob tops are wonderful, and yep. this one here has got all the built-in spotlights, downlights, speakers are built-in, and an incredible thing is it's obviously got a, a freshwater shower, and in the top there it's got like a mistus, so on those really hot days you can throw a switch and it just pours down mist over us, and uh, never seen that before, never experienced it, but it's 
it's wonderful. Yeah, it is. It, it sounds like a fantastic option and very practical, especially in the northern parts of Australia, yes. where heat is a real issue. Yeah. Look, I think this is a fantastic boat. It's set up for fishing and for the family. Um, you find that the uh, the padded front decks, they, they all come out to make it a real serious fishing boat. Yeah, definitely. We, we've seen that trend in the US uh, shift away from um, bow riders, the traditional bow rider, to into the centre console. Um, it's got fold-up seats. Uh, it's got a lot of cushions up at the bow, backrests, all removable. Um, so you can have all that there as a family day boat, very, very comfortable, but then remove all that and you've got casting platforms, big open decks all the way and not upholstery in the way for a fishing boat. That's so, right, so you can get blood on the decks, hose it all out and she's ready to go. Yeah, yeah. Look, this is an impressive craft. We've got a fairly impressive day out here on Moreton Bay. Let's get this thing on the water and we'll come back to you with some performance statistics. So what a wild and woolly day that was on Moreton Bay and of course it's chased us back to the Northside Marine dealership to do our final uh, wrap up of this boat but uh, overall what a superb comfortable riding boat to be in. We could get that water as rough as, rough as we like today and the further we took it around the corner and the more the chop got the better this boat ate it up and what I'm really impressed with is the ability of that boat to get up on top of chop up to about a metre high and it, you drive along like it's your lounge chair. That's the, the fact that it's, it's a fibreglass boat, it's a heavy boat boat um, it's powered with enough horsepower to get it up and going across the top so unless it's uh, unless it's bigger than a meter you nearly don't have to worry about little chop at all in this boat um, we use this boat as a camera boat as well for a smaller uh, sportsman that we were um, filming today what a great platform as well there are too many options to uh, to really list and talk about in this boat although the things I really like I love the uh, the friction hinges on these boats like the live bait lid if you lift it up halfway and leave it it stays there it doesn't go slamming back down or slamming backwards to to wreck your gel coat or wreck hinges. Um, I love the fact that the console, it's big and wide, it's got that great big T-top across it so you can sort of get out of the weather but everything's got its place. It's not just a flat board that people have put some screws and and, uh, and switches and sounders into. It's built specifically for everything that needs to go on there. So it's a real uh, I suppose a holistic experience when you get in there, you've got the twin sounders set up you've got everything very well labelled it's a real pleasure to drive this craft. Um, it's powered by a 250 horsepower Yamaha and although we didn't have the uh, the ability to do some of the wide open stuff and some of the performance stats today, we've got some stats from uh, the same hull fitted with the Yamaha uh, 250 SHO, the super high output motor, uh, which will be very similar. Um, this boat uh, weighs in at a couple of tonnes, but it gives you economy of 1.5 kilometres for every litre of fuel burn. And when you think about it, it's a big 250 horsepower engine, it's pushing along a big boat and it's doing it fast. And it does that at 3,500 RPM, which is a great... Uh, cruising speed. Um, apart from the amazing economy, the amazing ride, um, I love the fact that now you can use a boat which is slightly over width and you don't have to go through all of the permits and regulations that you need to, that you used to have to in the old days. As long as you've got the flags in and the oversized sign on, you're going to be able to drag that boat anywhere in Australia and do it safely. Um, for more information on this boat, which comes in at $149,000, so it's I suppose a step up. It, it mightn't be your first fishing boat, but I think it might be your last fishing boat. 
Um, for $149,000, the guys at Northside Marine can set you up with one of these sportsmen's on the twin axle trailer with the big yammy on the back and with all of those fishing options, it'll make your life fantastic on the water. And if you're tired of uh, getting beat up in your 20-year-old tinny, these are the guys you need to talk to. You can get more information on sportsmanboats.com.au or you can visit Northside Marine's website at northsidemarine.com.au. But uh, after a wild and windy day on Moreton Bay, I don't think I can be in a better boat to do some boat testing today.